Um, so the idea with the headless um, recipe was just to provide um, an API-like recipe that would set up GraphQL, queries, um, and restrict the um, restrict the interface down a little bit. Um, so what's happened here is it's gone straight to a login page because the recipe has no home page. Um, so if you hit it when you're not authenticated, it's going to take you straight to a login page. Um, what are the features we turned on? We turned on GraphQL. Content I see also. Content is in. Um, search is in, so we've seen queries are in, um, because queries have an API interface. Um, let's see, GraphQL is just there, and uh, there is no confidence. Search, that's weird. Um, so Lucene's on, because you can access that through GraphQL. Yeah, but, uh, but you don't you don't enable all the features that will have a GraphQL integration. So, so if, I don't know. Up here, we can, we can... I, I'm not saying that's not useful, but by default on the recipe, would you, would you expose a search controller, a search API? Uh, because maybe we could have a search integration with... Uh, maybe, the, okay, maybe... Okay, well, or maybe we need to split the GraphQL a search and a search endpoint for GraphQL. Might be interesting to have a search endpoint for GraphQL. Yeah, there's no. I don't think there's a, a queries interface for GraphQL yet. I think there that is. Only works. But there is. Yeah, there is a. If you create a new query, either SQL or Lucene, there will be the query exposed directly. Uh, so that might be it. So yeah. Oh, only Lucene is there. Um, okay, well, that, but that's okay to have it. I mean, but that's I would not have expected it for a headless recipe. Um, well, it depends. Do you want to just focus on GraphQL for headless, or do you, do you want to do the other APIs that are available as well? Um, you know, the content API, the query API. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I, like, know I like people to comment. People who use headless. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what else have I done? Um, I've changed, oh, I enabled OpenID as well. Okay. Um, because you would need OpenID to really want to connect to it properly. Okay. Um, and by and default, uh, by default, you didn't, you didn't make GraphQL end endpoint um, anonymous. You have no. nothing. Okay. Um, so I um, basically turned off everything on the anonymous role. Okay. Um, so okay. you can't do anything, um, and the other roles remain the same. So by default, GraphQL um, is only allowed on um, the administrator role, I think. That's changed. That that's, that's weird, yeah. I yeah. <laughs> something weird from the um, PR because um, there can't be anything higher than administrator role. Um, but the authenticated role, um, I haven't enabled it. Sorry, I have enabled it. Yeah, so authenticated can take GraphQL anonymous count. Yep, so authenticated it should be able to execute GraphQL um, and then admin also. 
everything that is authenticated should be able to execute GraphQL. Yeah. And the, then mutation is different, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the default setup um, for the other recipes is administrator only, um, but for this one, it should be authenticated. I felt. Okay. Um, but not anonymous. Um, so anonymous is blocked on anything. Um, and Carl's PR permission is in there now, so. Yeah. Um, I may solve some things. That's good to have a headless recipe because people will don't will not know. It's it show it's adding visibility about the fact that we support headless, and otherwise we'll have to select empty CMS, and then you don't know what to do. So at least here we have a headless recipe. So this will allow um, Sipka to create a new article about that because he likes that. <laughs> he likes GraphQL, and that will be good.